Hello again. Last time I told you about my new book, Diary of a Future Saint, Faustina's Incredible Journey, and I focused on the writing of her diary. I gave you a little sneak excerpt. Um, now I would like to read the next section, um, which is subtitled, She Wrote in Secret. So let's get right to that, okay? When Sister Faustina, Helena at the time, entered religious life, probably the farthest thing from her mind was that she would be writing a bunch of notebooks in secret. And these were not just ordinary notebooks. They contained experiences with and revelations from Jesus Christ himself. In addition, they contained the Mother of God's communications to Faustina as well as many teachings and experiences with her other contacts from the supernatural world, such as angels, saints, holy souls in purgatory, and attacks by the devil. It was no easy task for her to write about herself or any of the above. Why did Sister Faustina write in secret? It was simply because she did not want anyone seeing what she wrote. And why did she write in the first place? Well, Jesus told her to. He said, write down these words. Tell the world about my mercy and my love. The flames of mercy are burning me. I desire to pour them out upon human souls. Oh, what pain they cause me when they do not want to accept them. My daughter, do whatever is within your power to spread devotion to my mercy. I will make up for what you lack. So, as we know, St. Faustina experienced many trials and tribulations trying to get religious superiors to believe her experiences with Jesus. Finally, as we know already, because I had mentioned this earlier in the book, she was given a spiritual director, Father Michael Sapochko. He instructed her to write down everything in a diary. You see, Father Sapochko told Sister Faustina to write down her experiences so that he could read them thoroughly to be better able to discern what was going on in her life than he would through just hearing her tell him while in the confessional. Besides, Sister Faustina was taking an awfully long time in the confessional attempting to tell her director what Jesus was revealing to her heart. And this caused prolonged time for Father Sapochko too, and possibly other sisters getting annoyed. The superiors gave their consent to Father Sapochko's orders. So Faustina trusted Jesus and her director, and she wrote, and she wrote, and she wrote, and she never once thought she had a talent for writing, and she had to fit all this writing in between her duties and prayer times. And at times, she had to quickly hide her writing, as when someone unexpectedly showed up at her cell. And you know, the cell is the room where the sisters lived. There were other obstacles as well. And I think you might smile when you read Dear Faustina's heartfelt words to Jesus about her difficulty in writing the diary. She even complained to Jesus about her pen. She said, My Jesus, you see that I do not know how to write well. And on top of that, I don't even have a good pen. It's actually heartwarming to hear her speak to Jesus in this way. She then told him, and often it scratches so badly that I must put sentences together letter by letter. But she has more to tell Jesus, and that is not all, she said. I also have the difficulty of keeping secret from the sisters the things I write down. And so I often have to shut my notebook every few minutes and listen patiently to someone's story. And then the time set aside for writing is gone. Another problem arose for the obedient writer. She said, and when I shut the notebook suddenly, 
the ink smears. I write with the permission of my superiors and at the command of my confessor. It is strange. It is a strange thing, she said. Sometimes the writing goes quite well, but at other times I can hardly read it myself. So I hope you smiled. Our friend Faustina is very endearing, yet writing the diary was no funny business, nor was it for the faint of heart. Sister Faustina wholeheartedly obeyed Jesus and her spiritual director to put very important words down on paper that you and I can read all these years later. The words from the diary are profound truths in the spiritual life, words that can greatly aid us all on our journeys. In the diary, we have been gifted a treasure trove and are essentially allowed into the journey of a young mystic soul. Pretty amazing, right? So I thought I'd share that with you today. And I'm going to leave you now, and I hope to see you again. God bless you. God love you.